Uh, we want to welcome you uh, to this uh, launch of the in Initiative for Diversity and Civic Leadership. Great pleasure for Suffolk to have you all here. As Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences at Suffolk, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all of you. It's a source of great pride for us to partner with the Boston Foundation, Mass Vote, and OISTE in support of a project of profound importance to our community. A central measure of the success of our democratic institutions is rooted in our ability to incorporate all groups into key positions in our political culture. We have long struggled to accomplish this within the Boston community and within the United States at large. While we have had some successes in the past, it is crystal clear, as powerfully demonstrated by the recent study of minority representation in Massachusetts political offices, that we have a long way to go. Suffolk's partnership with OISTE, MassVote, and the Boston Foundation will promote the entry of people of color into the world of public <laughs> service. We are proud to be a part of that noble enterprise. This is not about simply talking about numbers. This is not about simply saying we need to get more minorities prepared for leadership. This is about creating a developmental experience where individuals who are interested in running for, for, for leadership roles in the civic community will get the type of one-on-one -on -one coaching, will get the type of one-on-one -on -one feedback, will get the type of mentoring that's important, will go through training, will go through internships. This is hands-on. This is a very different experience, and we're very excited about the potential for this project and initiative. Now, it's really an exciting and historic time for Massachusetts leadership in government. We elected our first African-American governor. We elected our first female attorney general. Two important milestones in the history of our Commonwealth's leadership. Today, we celebrate the creation of a program that seeks to increase that trend and foster a new generation of leaders that reflect the diversity of our society. We stay, Suffolk University and Mass Vote are teaming up to form the Initiative for Diversity and Public Service to ensure that people of color take part in every area, in every part of our government. I am delighted that this organization, organizations are combining their experience and expertise to focus on such an important goal. I also want to thank the Boston Foundation, the Miller Foundation, the New Community Fund so for supporting this initiative and recognizing its great value. I think this investment will pay dividends for years to come. Diversity surrounds us in our city. I love walking down the streets of our city's neighborhoods to listen to people speak in different languages, eat in eth ethnic restaurants, and celebrate many different cultural traditions. I am proud that Boston is a beacon of hope for so many people throughout the world. Our challenge is to capture that diversity and channel it to opportunity and promise. Because diversity brings vibrancy and strength. Diversity is a key competitive advantage. And diversity is the strength of the city of Boston. But only if we utilize it. Dr. Hardy Fantas, a benchmark report on diversity in state and local government, gives us a report card and call to action on leadership diversity. It shows, among many things, that within the greater Boston area, the city of Boston is leading the way in promoting diversity and leadership. I am extremely proud that people of color occupy nearly half of all our appointed board positions. And 28% of our elected officials are people of color. I see Sam Ewan there, Felix is here. That's just the city of Washington. We don't count senators. <laughs> They're on the other side of the bench. We understand that. These results are really let me tell you, no accident. In increasing diversity in the city's workforce is one of my top priorities. we have made a great concerted effort to re recruit people from all walks of life because the makeup of government should reflect the diversity of its citizens. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have just witnessed something extraordinary. A powerful, established politician endorsing a program that is going to multiply the number of candidates who want to run for public office. And wouldn't it be ironic if in some way, far down the road, Mayor, that this program contributed to the restoration of competitive mayoral races in Boston? And I'm sure that's way, way down the road. We're a nonprofit organization. We love nonprofits. We have some of the best nonprofits in the world in Boston. But we're simply not going to be able to solve the problems that we have as a community and meet the challenges or realize the opportunities we have without a public sector uh, that is legitimate, effective, and high performing. And this is one way that to ensure that our public sector is going to reach those standards uh, at all levels of government uh, going forward. So we wanted to look at how well the cities and towns and state do in being a portrait of the people at large. The study was commissioned by the Pipeline to Public Service. I do want to use the mayor's calls or challenge and words of encouragement to the business community and to the corporation. And that is, seek, uh, seek us out. We are interested in partnering with you. Uh, be an investor with us. Be a mentor. Uh, think about reaching out to the, to the initiative managers, but also to, to me at the Boston Foundation, who's leading the fundraising. There are many ways uh, that you can be part of this pro uh, initiative. Uh, for people who are in foundations, family foundations, corporate foundations, uh, please talk to me. We'll show you how to get involved and, and what the level and the out and projection of, uh, of results will be. Um, I do want to uh, thank the steering committee members. They have been with this process really patiently for over a year, and it's really uh, fantastic. They've been on the phone uh, while campaigning, uh, managing businesses and family, and there's been countless of hours of detailed discussion, research. I want to say on behalf of the committee, I can't be more honored to work with an outstanding um, partnership here with Suffolk University and Masswood. I think we make a kick butt team. And in three years, you will see a change not only in the city of Boston, but in greater Boston and hopefully in Massachusetts. And I'm very, very excited to be part of this wonderful initiative. Thank you for coming. And I hope to see every single one of you in this program, one way or another. The program is a four-month program, 16-week 16 16 week program. People are going to meet once a week. And we will be, we will be having academ ad academics, but also practitioners, teaching people about public policy, leadership, uh, candidate training, public administration. There's going to have, there's going to be network sessions a whole weekend for campaign training and also we're going to have coaches and mentors so it's it's a holistic approach it's for people of color um, provided by people of color which is which makes a difference because the curriculum is going to be very focused on on how to run a campaign as a person of color so that's really important well they can apply by um, either going to our website www.oista.net or um, they can call us at 617-426-6633. We will send the applications to them. We're going to have them at all the community-based organizations, professional organizations. We're really going to we're going to send these out so people they will be available for folks. People will be able to download them at our website.